Hi, my name is Bruce Quinn, and normally I talk about medical technology, but this is a short video about fixing a problem with video technology. So there was a burst of excitement on the internet about October 9th and 10th that a popular video program called Filmora had given out a new release and it caused some people's computers to crash. And the story here is that I found a fix that worked for me. Uh, Filmora is a mid-level video editing program. It's just like Goldilocks and the Three Bowls of Porridge. You can find free programs like OpenShot and Shotcut. You can spend four or five hundred dollars on programs and Filmora files in the middle. And basically all these video editors are about the same. You've got a box where you can drag your clips to, you see a preview of the film that you're building, and you see the clips and transitions and the audio track in a timeline. So what happened on October 9th and 10th, Filmora released version 10.7. It downloaded on my computer and immediately uh, seriously broke Filmora, uh, so it would not work well at all. I even tried deleting it and going back to an earlier version, and that didn't seem to work, so I was pretty desperate. And I was thrilled to find out that there was a lot of information about this within 48 hours on YouTube and the internet. And I provide links to all the information below. So my experience is I'm a light user of video editing. Uh, Filmora X was working fine on my computer. And then with the download on October 9th, there were critical problems. And I want to add, I've got a pretty fast system. I've got a almost top-end Lenovo gaming laptop. Uh, it's got a lot of memory. It's got a fast video chip and so on. So the problems were the playback preview that you track how your video is progressing was horrible, even under a very light load, like two or three five-second clips. There were some other bugs that would crash when I would drag in and, and drop a new clip in the media file. Uh, it was creating odd audio skips when the rendering program hit a transition between clips. And I found a resolution on David Battelle's video and its comment section, which is go to preferences and performance and find preview render and find the box for background render and uncheck that. So here's what it looks like. You go to File, Preferences. Uh, for Preferences, you look at Performance. You come down to uh, Preview Render, and then you uncheck a thing called Background Render. So very simple, solved most of my problems. Jack Noyan also has a video uh, that I linked to down below. Uh, you'll notice some other changes in 10.7. It used to be if you right-clicked on a video, you got about 30 options right in your face. And now those 30 options are grouped into about six panels, so it looks more compact. And Jackie Noyan talks about some Control B based options for things like adjusting your timeline. They, he says they don't work anymore, and I found the timeline was pretty jumpy to control. But the bottom line is thanks to the YouTube and Filmora community for helping find a fast and effective solution to my problem. Thank you.